usually be enjoying the holiday weekend. Thanks for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. Right now, the Beehive Fire is now double the size it was this time yesterday. Even though it's not threatening structures, it's still burning out of control. The fire is now up to more than 7,000 acres. It broke out Friday in Beehive Canyon, about 10 miles west of Rio Rico, and it's still mostly uncontained on the north and east sides. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live at the command post in Rio Rico with more more on how this fire is impacting 4th of July plans. J.D. Valerie, it is quite a drive out to Aravaca Lake and campground, and the Beehive Fire shut them down to visitors. The Beehive Fire sends up smoke visible across southern Arizona and looms within sight of Aravaca. It's all part of living in Arizona. Greg and Charlene Schubert took a scenic drive from Rio Rico to visit Aravaca Lake with their dog Jazzy, but were turned away. Because we can see the heavy smoke, but we don't see the flames like we had in the past with fires in this direction. The lake is a source of water for helicopters to dump on the Beehive Fire. They were staged at Pena Blanca Lake, where this Chinook helicopter can be seen lowering to dip water. We know that they come in and they dip in the lakes and things like that, so we knew it was a 50-50 shot, whether it would be open or closed. The rugged landscape made estimating the acreage of the Beehive Fire difficult. It's impacting holiday plans, but the Schuberts will return another time. One of those things that, that happens every summer is we get fires. You know, so it's, if you live in the Midwest, you get tornadoes. If you live in the South, you get hurricanes. Um, so it's just one of those things about living in Arizona. And a more detailed infrared survey of the fire led to that jump in acreage while containment remains at 15 percent. There's an engine from Montana and a crew all the way from Salt Lake City, also part of the firefighting effort. Live in Rio Rico, J.D. Wallace, 13 News. Also keeping an eye.